Hey, what's up, YouTube? Surreal Canine here with more, uh, more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Explores the sky. In the last episode, we failed our mission to get perfect apples for Guildmaster Ismelda. Uh, kind of got thoroughly humiliated by Team Skull, and I left you on the note that Daniel would be planning his revenge. Uh, couple minutes of writing later, and I think I know exactly what he's going to do, but that will be for a different time. For now, let's just get out here and see what's up. Ahem. <clears throat> One last item. Tomorrow or the day after, or perhaps in several days' time, we plan to announce the members of the expedition party. Wow! By golly, the members are finally gonna be picked! <coughs> oh my gosh, it'll be so fun! Everyone, this is your last chance to make an impression. Work hard and impress us if you want to be chosen. Alright, everyone, let's get down to work as usual. Hooray! I'm so hungry, Daniel. Ah, you two. You two should take care of lists of jobs today. We're counting on you. There's one other thing. About the expedition, you should give up on being chosen as expedition members. Huh? Why? Your failure yesterday weighs heavily. As you know, it's difficult to tell what our guildmaster is thinking from her demeanor. But there's no doubt she must be seething with anger inside. It's unlikely she would bother to choose you for the expedition. So when the time comes to announce the members, don't get your hopes up. That's all. Yeah, rub it in, why don't you, Paul? You're a real good deputy. Listen up. Huh? I heard a voice somewhere. Shh! Over here! Oh, Buck! Shh! By golly, not so loud! Come this way. I don't saw anything, except maybe Gilliam. What's going on? Why did you call us in here? Well, here you go. Oh, apples! You must be very hungry. We also saw a little bit of our dinners last night for you. Now eat up! Thanks, everyone. Whoa, thanks. I'm revitalized. Great. We can all use help when we're down. Every one of us needs to be able to work hard in order to be picked for the expedition. Yup, yup. Thanks, everyone. But about the expedition, Mr. Paul just came and told us we're probably not going to be chosen. How could you say that? There's no telling what might happen. No siree. The members haven't been picked yet. Everyone, thanks for trying to cheer us up, but... Doesn't everybody want to go on the expedition? What if we were chosen to go? If that happens, someone here might not get to go. Would you all be okay with that? No, I wouldn't like that. But of course, if someone is chosen, then someone else can't go. That's just the way it is. If you all get picked for the expedition, you should cheer for those who did. Yup, yup. And everyone wants to go on the expedition with you, Abram and Daniel. Everyone, honestly, thank you. Okay, then we'll keep trying our best to get picked for the expedition. We'll keep on trying to the end. Yup, yup, that's the spirit. Yes, let's all do our best. We gotta try hard so we all can go. <coughs> yes. <laughs> hey, you two, over here. Oh, it's Gilliam. <laughs> Where are you up to with Buck and the others? It all looks so sneaky. I suppose it's got nothing to do with me, but... <laughs> anyway, that's not why I called you here. <laughs> the waiting's over. It's about my shop. <laughs> the Krogunk Swap Shop is back in business. Krogunk Swap Shop? <laughs> you heard right. I finally finished repairing my swap cauldron, which means I'm finally back in business again. Put certain kinds of items in this here swap cauldron, and those items get swapped for an item offered up by another Pokemon somewhere around Treasure Town. 
There's some Pokemon around here that have pretty rare items for swapping. So, you could end up with a stupendously great swap, get it? Yeah. So if you two feel like swapping items, you bring them to me, alright? <laughs> so yeah! Uh, different Pokemon have different exclusive items that are... Uh, that affect them and their evolution families. Like, for example, this Awake Bow will uh, raise the movement speed of Shellus and Gastrodon by one level, which means they move twice as fast. It's pretty neat. And we can, uh... See, we've got a... Yeah. Let me take a look. Nope, you don't have a set of swappable items. <laughs> Anything else you want to swap? So yeah. I think we'll uh, get into this more once I actually have an exclusive item. <laughs> See, we've got some pretty good friends. So, uh, maybe getting revenge on the entire guild isn't necessary, but Daniel is not going to let this go. Yeah, yeah, I strike you, yeah. Anyway, let's go take on some missions. <coughs> let's see. We need to uh, find some missions in Mount Bristle. this? Huh? There's someone at the cafe entrance. I wonder what's going on. Hey, something going on? Something at the cafe? Yeah, it seems like you have some wonderful news for all the explorers. I wonder what kind of a wonderful news. No, oh, I'm really interested. I'm going to go find out. I'm going too. Wonderful news, huh? Hey Daniel, we should go too. There's a crowd. May I have everyone's attention, please? First of all, I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules. Today, I would like to give you some wonderful news of hopes and dreams. You keep that up, I'm gonna rename you to Azrael. Ahem. <clears throat> Thanks to your kind patronage, this cafe has been quite popular. We are unfortunate to have so many wonderful customers. This shop's pride and joy, the Recycle Shop, is fully operational and has collected many items. We'd like to thank you for your kind patronage by opening a new service! We're calling it Project P! Project P? What's that? This project aims to use the items gathered at the Recycle Shop in order to explore unexplored places. Allow me to explain. Right now at the Recycle Shop, you trade several items in exchange for one of the shop's items. Thanks to everyone's continued recycling efforts, we have gathered a lot of items here at the shop. The service will continue to operate in the same manner, and that with Project P established. You might be wondering how Project P fits into all this. We'll use the accumulated items to explore unexplored areas. There's still so many places around the world that are waiting to be found and explored. So many secret treasures and challenging puzzles waiting to be discovered. So let's go out and find them. That's what Project P is about. Ah, the pursuit of knowledge. And continuing exploration. We'll find dazzling treasures in new exploration areas, probably. And if you bring your discoveries back to the cafe, you'll get a special deal at the Recycle Shop. This should keep items circulating through the Recycle Shop. The items at the Recycle Shop will become more and more amazing. What do you think? Do you understand? 
Use the recycled items to explore the world. Don't you think it's a magnificent project full of hopes and dreams? Whoa, this is genius. It seems so economical. We've already sent out an exploration team to find unexplored areas. There should be new discoveries before long. So everyone, please keep recycling more and more every day. Let's all work together and find unexplored areas. Hooray! Wow, so amazing! Recycling leftover items, trading them around, they're bound to turn into unbelievable treasures. Being able to explore unexplored areas. Woohoo, I'm so excited! We should recycle more! <laughs> so yeah, everybody is pretty hyped about this. Let's, uh, let's uh, get out of here and get ready for our own mission. Let's see, if we take everything out, we can afford a, a gummy or something. Hey, it's Pooh, what's up? Yeah. can we buy? Ooh. Rock type Pokemon. That'll be good for Daniel. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. What can we stash? Guess a couple of Orin Berries. Actually, no, we're going to... Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Let's see. I'm going to want to take out this citrus berry and this life seed. Just because I want to see what happens when we, uh... When we take them to the cafe. First, we should save. Be right back, everyone. Okay, now that we've done that. Let's head on into the cafe and see what's up. Oh, we can't use the cafe yet. <laughs> oh well. That's right! Cycling is a trend of the time. <laughs> it's like juice drink harmony or something. Pretty cool, huh? Drinks, I mean. Whoa, dude! <laughs> Alright, well, in that case, we're gonna deposit our stuff. And we'll figure it out next time, I guess. I guess we can stash our trout or two. Hmm. I guess we can also stash our decoy orb. I don't really see us uh, having much of a use for that. Let's uh, activate the sort function and uh, let's get out of here. We are off to Mount Bristle. Who should I bring with me, though? Let's see... Yeah, 
and Lunaturn. done that <clears throat> let's accept our missions and let's go have a starly but we're taking them out in one hit now so it's just fine we are not under leveled anymore oh hey it's Gia dude Wham. yeah even a not very effective attack is getting them in one hit Machop. Oop, I missed with the Geo Pebble. Yeah. <laughs> Even an electric type status move works. It's uh, rather impressive. Yeah, take that, Starly. Yeah, Buck! And Lunaturn leveled up. And go up and go up and go up. We keep on going up, and there's a big door in your face. <laughs> yeah, you can never have too many row quotes in a let's play. Wham! It would be pretty cool to get a Starly on the team. I don't know if it's gonna happen though. Hello, Starly. Goodbye, Starly. So many burbs. Hey, get back here! Can we, like, uh, corner you between... No? Well, I guess I'll do this. I missed! Yeah, if you can't take out Doduin in one hit, uh, it's uh, gonna be a problem trying to recruit them. Whoops. Mission objectives. We're not on the destination floor, right? I hope not. This is a destination floor. Big apple. How dare you. How dare you! Grass gunny. Okay, just had to make sure they were following me. I mean, they can probably take care of themselves at this point, but... What, what is Buck doing? Buck, you need to catch up, dude. There's Tangela, aka the Fry Kid. Also Ultra Pip. <laughs> No, we still have places to be. Places to do, people to go, things to meet. There's Surskit again. Alright, first up. Throw the sleep seed! I missed! Hey, <laughs> you're confused now. That's good for us. Oh. Yeah, 
know, let's just throw stuff from a distance or something, I don't know. Throw the sleep seed! Gotcha! Oh. Even with water sport in effect, it seems like Ember's still uh, better. No, it's not. Hey! We got him! Way to go, Abram! We are, but we are not done. Where to go now? Well, I guess we have to keep going, but... Nothing here? Huh. That'll be good for Buck, because uh, orange gu gummies <coughs> are fighting types. And fighting beats normal. That is a lot of verbs. I am nervous. Oof. It's a whiff. Lunatone, you're not helping me. not mean to do that. The thing with wing attack is it's kind of a disproportionately powerful move for how early in the game this is. That's the only reason Starly is uh, dangerous. And keep throwing them sticks. Lunatone, you're not helping. Don't you know, like, confusion or something? You do. If we could get Buck over there, it would be a perfect opportunity to, uh, to demo rollout. But, of course, he's just gonna be a dirt. Come on, Buck. You're not helping very much. Whatever. Moving on. It's a destination floor. Hey, Lunatone leveled up. Ooh, Rock Throw. That's gonna help a good bit. Of course, he's never gonna use it. Oh, hey! Dear, do join the party! Again, if you want to give our Pokemon a name, I am all for hearing it. Just post something in the comments. Ooh, another skateboard. That's good. at you like a Charlie <clears throat> we've got one mission left but I think we're out of dungeon no we're not okay I 
strike you! And you did not recruit. Yeah, that's fine. I'll get my double burb elsewhere, I suppose. It's Starly! And his brother Starly! Yay! Ooh, did we get quick attack? We got quick attack, baby! Let's see, uh, I guess get rid of Tail Whip. Quick attack is a ranged attack. It can hit at a range of two, as you uh, kind of saw with some of the enemies we fought on the way here. It's very good for uh, when Abram is right behind you and you want him to get in on the fight. He's kind of prone to wasting the PP for it, though. Speaking of PP, I'm out of PP for my attacking moves, which means uh, it's time for Abram to get some action, I guess. Seriously, where is the Pokemon we're supposed to... there you are. That's everybody! Let's get out of here. Guy. Ooh, max elixir. Not bad. Brown gummy. Cool. That's for ground types. She'll be good for Abram. Insomniscope. I think that prevents us from falling asleep. Grass gummy, that's nice. Doink. Gravel rocks. They're like geo pebbles, but twice as powerful. I think. Is it ten? Is it fifteen or twenty in this game? Vile seed. That minimizes a Pokemon's uh, defense and special defense. Did I already say that? I don't remember. That'll be useful against uh, any upcoming bosses. It's morning. But I think that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, let's hope we get picked for that expedition. Keep up the good work, everyone. <laughs>